annulation. Look at the shoulder axis, the hip axis. When we sprint, if I block at this high spot, the hip axis, the free, free leg axis, is in front and higher than the support leg. And then as we switch, the ilium switch position. The opposite shoulder undulates in opposite phases. So if I'm blocked here, this hip is higher than the support hip it's in front of. As I switch, this hip's higher and in front of this hip. The shoulders are in opposite phasing. So if I'm blocked here, this shoulder's a little bit lower than this, and it's retarded from that frontal plane. So the hip and shoulder axis undulates and oscillates as we run. So those what we're looking at in these axes. Now kids today with computers and texting and all that really bound up mid thoracic. So a lot of this shoulder axis undulation and oscillation is not harmonic with what's going on in the hips. Uh, a lot of athletes want the six pack abs. So they do hours of circuit training, ab work and they're drawn like this. So maybe the hip axis can undulate or oscillate. So those are very important features to watch as they're moving through there. What is the action of the foot? Are they able to strike on the heel? They may be so tight posterior chain, they can't even strike heel first. How many SNC coaches here? How many kids tell them to do a squat test, they can't keep their heels on the ground? Posterior chain is super tight because in a lot of our field sports, you're just going forward. The anterior chain gets overdeveloped overdrawn. The foot, even though we're in a heel strike, will have some supination and as they toe off they go to pronation. So comparing ranges, symmetry, what's the right foot doing compared to the left foot? Are they supinating equally? Are they pronating equally? If I got one foot with normal supination or pronation, the other foot is dumping into pronation and we know the talus is out of position. If that talus remains out of position, good chance you're gonna have adductor issues, and then that'll go up the food chain into pubitis and, and pubic issues and sports hernia issues from a chronic talus position that you're failing to notice during field activity. 